More than two years after terrorists murdered our ambassador and three other Americans in Benghazi, Libya, will a select congressional committee this week see new evidence of a cover-up? Our independent investigative correspondent, Cheryl Ackeson, has the exclusive story. The allegation comes from Ray Maxwell, who is a deputy assistant secretary in the State Department Bureau in charge of Libya. Meet my expectations. My Maxwell, expectations. shown here at a round um, table, did I not want to speak the, on um, camera. It was his office that turned over documents for the probe into the Benghazi terrorist attacks that killed four Americans, including Ambassador Chris Stevens. Speaking to me in Washington, Maxwell alleged that after documents were gathered and boxed for the Accountability Review Board, which first met October 4, 2012, there was an unusual weekend session in the basement at State Department headquarters in Washington. Maxwell says, quote, I was not invited to that after-hours endeavor, but I heard about it and decided to check it out on a Sunday afternoon. When he arrived, he says an office director told him, Ray, we are to go through these stacks and pull out anything that might put anybody in the front office or seventh floor in a bad light. Seventh floor was shorthand for Secretary Clinton and her top staff. Maxwell says he asked, isn't that unethical? And the officer replied, those are our orders. A few minutes later, according to Maxwell, in walked two high-ranking State Department officials. They acknowledged him, he says, seemed to check on the operation, and left. We reached out to Clinton, but she declined our interview request and offered no comment. The State Department told us the allegations are totally without merit. Employees were instructed to cooperate fully and promptly with the Accountability Review Board, and the board invited direct contact so it was impossible for anyone outside to control its access to information. Maxwell was among four officials originally singled out for discipline, he says scapegoated, for security lapses in the attacks. All were later cleared and Maxwell retired. He recently told several members of Congress, including Republican Jason Chaffetz, about the basement operation. There could be some people who are going to get a criminal referral. You cannot, cannot separate out documents and hide things from the Congress, hide things from the Accountability Review Board. Democrats have long called the Benghazi investigation a Republican obsession. Eight reviews have been conducted in the House and Senate, 25,000 documents released, millions of taxpayer dollars spent. Republicans insist there are unanswered questions. The House Benghazi Committee holds its first public hearing Wednesday amid the backdrop of the newest allegations. Investigating Washington, I'm Cheryl Ackeson reporting. We'll of course have it covered for you. Cheryl Ackeson is an independent contributor. Her extensive experience as an investigative reporter in Washington will help us continue to focus on holding public officials accountable, no matter what their political party. We'll bring you new investigations from Cheryl every month.